안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we're going to talk about how to write clean code and how to improve the quality of the code that we write. I'm going to give you five simple tips that will allow you to just basically improve the quality of your code on any language that you program on. For example, we're going to talk about how to choose a good name for a function or how many arguments should a function have. These sort of things will improve your code on any language that you work on and your teammates and your future self will appreciate that. So, why is it important to make our code clean? Good code is not only code that just works. Good code is code that explains itself. For example, if you work on a team, good code will be code that your teammate can read and they will understand exactly what you did and they will understand exactly what the code does without asking you any questions. That would be the perfect ideal. And if you work by yourself, good code will be code that when you go and read that code, maybe after three, six or nine months, you will come back to that code and you will still understand what you were thinking six months ago and the code will still be self-explanatory for yourself. So that is clean code and that is good code. Code that not only works, but also explains itself to the people that read the code. Now that we know what clean code is, let's get started with the tip number one. The tip number one is use searchable names. What that means is that sometimes when you are programming, we're going to need to add random values. For example, um, number of seconds in a day. So if we have a function that requires us to give it the number of seconds in a day, it's better to put that number into a variable because the next person that comes might not be aware of what that function does and might not know what that number means. So instead, we just put that number, number of seconds in a day, on a variable that people can read and understand what it means. Tip number two. Function names should be verbs. For example, user data is not a good name for a function. Load user data is a better name for a function. This rule is very simple, but it has very important consequences. One of them is the fact that you are going to realize that your functions are doing too much because a function should only do one thing well. And when you start naming your functions with the verbs that they do, with the actions that they do, you're going to see that you are going to be able to separate functions because a function that loads user data should only load user data. And if you see that that function is not only loading user data, but also doing other things, maybe it's time to break up that function and create a new, smaller, tiny function. This tip is sort of a two-part tip. One is use verbs for the names of your functions. And the other one is functions should only do one thing and one thing only. Number three, still talking about functions. Now we talk about arguments. How many arguments should you pass to a function? The golden number for arguments of a function is three or less. If your function requires too many arguments, then when somebody reads it, it's going to be very, very confusing to them what argument is doing what. Instead, if your function requires many arguments, what you can do is to pass one single configuration object. That is going to be so much better to read and to understand what the hell is the function doing and how many arguments the function needs. A function with two, three arguments, it's okay to understand, but something more than that is just too much and a configuration object will be better. Number four, try as much as you can to avoid passing Boolean values as arguments to your functions. Boolean values are also known as flags, true or false. If you're passing a Boolean value to your function, that means that there is an if else inside of that function. And maybe what would be better is to separate that if and that else into separate functions. Remember, a function should only do one thing. So instead of passing Boolean values, true or false, as arguments, try to separate functions. And then again, this will help you in following the previous tip, that is functions should only do one thing and do it well. And number five is Avoid using short names or avoid using even one letter names. For example, U shouldn't be U, it should be user, okay? For example, E shouldn't be E, it should be email, okay? This will make your code so much easier to read, especially if you're somebody that didn't write the code. If somebody didn't write the code and comes and see a variable named E, it's a nightmare. It's better to say email, okay? So that's it for those tips. But before you go, before you go, I want you to know something. 
Humans don't think in straight lines. When we are making code, we are in the creative sort of crazy part of our brains. We are trying to write and trying to make things work. So don't try to make your code clean at the beginning. What you can do instead is to write code that is very ugly, that works, and then you can clean it, okay? Because it's really hard to write code cleanly from the beginning. Because at the beginning of the code, when you are writing something new, you are creating. You, your mind doesn't work in an ordered way. You are trying to make it work and it's chaos, okay? Don't try to clean your code from the beginning. Try to clean your code at the end. Spend as much time cleaning code as the time you spent writing the code, all right? That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about tips to become a better programmer and to write better code, then check out the book called Clean Code. The tips that I talked about today are from that book. So if you like this sort of thing, then go ahead and check that book out. The link is in the description. This video is not sponsored by anybody. Nobody paid me to do this video. I just wanted to share with you some tips and some books that you might find interesting. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think on the comments. Tell me also, how do you improve your code quality? Is there any book you recommend? That's it. Thank you again. Don't forget to be happy. Don't forget to eat kimchi. Kamsamnida. Saranheo. And bye-bye.